Lydia Dedal, Fight Connect TV, and I'm here at Frank Warren's press conference in Birmingham with the champ, Jason Cunningham, and coach Ray Doyle. Well, welcome. Hello. Good to be here. Good to be here. See you again. This <laughs> See week. you again. Yeah, I swear I saw you already this I week. Know, I know. <laughs> How are you feeling? Feeling very, very good. Very, very confident. And as you saw earlier, just enjoying it. Taking it all in, getting all these interviews in now. Mr. Foster's over there. Had a good look at him for the first time. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm enjoying it all. What is that like? Actually, you know, I. It's one thing I always ask and always wonder about at press conference because it's the first time really that you get to size your opponent yeah. up and have a good look at him. Yeah, um, I expected a bit smaller than me, most of them are. Um, looks in eye, he looks game, he looks up for it, which is good. It's good for the fans because it's going to build in for a nice fight on Saturday night. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm proud of things gone this morning up to yet. And, um, so all these are done and dusted, I'm going to get some snap and then put my feet up for the day, I think. Snap. Then, now that yeah. I live in Yorkshire, I know what that means. Yep, snap, exactly. <laughs> now that you're one of us now, get some uh, some snap, some scrum, fill his bellies right, don't we? <laughs> Jobs are good. Jobs are good. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know, we always like to see a kind of a, a bit of back and forth at a press conference. Brad certainly brought it today. You know, yeah. he, he was just as confident. He's confident that he's going to take that from you uh, yep. uh, on Saturday night. Do you need to have that from your opponent? Does that kind of fire you up a little bit? A bit, yeah. I mean, listen, it's obviously it's nothing I've never experienced before. And, you, you know, you want to be coming into this fight confident. So you expect that anyway from both fighters. So uh, I kind of expected that. But he's, uh, yeah, yeah, we're talking pretty confident. Likewise, so are I. Uh, and I think it's just going to make for a cracking fight on Saturday. Absolutely. You know, no one can ever say that Jason Gorman doesn't come to fight. Yeah. Um, you've you've proven that in your past fights and also with the belts that, that you've taken. Um, as you said up on the press conference, a free agent after this fight. What are the hopes and plans after this fight going forward? Let's just get rid of Brad first. I always say this as well. Let's you know one job first, which is important. Otherwise, it's all it's all scuppered into it. Means nothing. Is to take care of Brad Foster first, and then we'll just see. That's how it goes with foam ringing, that'll be the case, won't it? Yeah. So yeah, it's exciting, but it's all about my legacy as well. Three weight Commonwealth champion, British champion, European champion. I want to be coming back to Doncaster with all them free straps uh, after Saturday night. Absolutely. Ray, I'll just have a quick word with you if you don't mind. Obviously, you're side by side switch, with, with, with the switch races. <laughs> You've been side by side with Jason on this journey. Yeah. Um, how has things changed uh, for Jason uh, in the lead up to this fight, or has anything changed? Uh, the things that I think have changed are the real people, in boxing, uh, oh no, Jason is getting what he deserves now, and it, and it, it, this is this is what he deserves. He's been a fantastic servant to boxing. He's never turned a challenge down, uh, whether it be at different ways. He's campaigned at uh, some fighters would. He, he is a he is a bit of a throwback. Nothing phases him. He's old school, and he's holding that title there, and and he, he wants to clean up the whole lot three weight Commonwealth champion a British champion and a European champion that's fantastic it's changed over years because I feel that when he was younger uh, he just didn't have the experience he could he just silly mistakes what you make in fights and stuff uh, it only comes with experience you just can't buy it the experience that he's got now is that you're seeing the best Jason Cunningham and I'm seeing the best Jason Cunningham that I've seen since since he started and uh it's down to his hard work, the, the the trials and tribulations he's gone through with ring and stuff like that, the setbacks and stuff, it, it's made him. Mm -hmm. It has it has made him and, and that's how I feel like he's changed and, and why he's in the best position that he's in for Saturday night. For you, you know, speaking like that and speaking so passionately about, you know, your fighter and your your, your teammate, you know, your friend, is it hard not to get extremely emotionally invested in the process? Yeah, but it, I'm, I'm kind of like... Uh, exactly the same as our fighter would be i have to switch off completely yeah. he's like a brother to me do you know what i mean and it's like but i'm experienced myself now do you know what i mean I, i've been in these big fights i've been on these big shows i've been asked all these questions before and stuff like that i've got a mechanism in me where i just go switch and it's down to you you ain't my friend you ain't my thing we don't spend time together yeah we we do get along well but when it's fight night he'll get a roasting or he'll get told off or if I think that I thought for one second that he were out of a fight or a contest then a towel would come in or he'd get pulled out just exactly the same as any other fight he would because I've still got that responsibility as a coach but I'm supremely confident that uh, no negatives will come Saturday night is just going to be sat there as a as a uh, three belt holder then and uh, then all the emotion will come out and it'll be time to be friends and celebrate again and, and 
what makes a story good and stuff like that. So I'll switch on and I'll switch off. Have you as a team recognised the kind of wave or the shift in talk about Jason in that, you know, a lot of fans, boxing fans have looked at him over the last year, two years and said he's completely risen to the occasion and hasn't disappointed when he's been in there? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've noticed uh, it's kind of like his stocks rising type thing. I, I get what you're saying. Uh, I think if he wins this, it's going to go even more fruit roof because there's, there's not many. It's, it's going to be a massive fight for him. But we're not looking past this. We're just we're, we're that focused. I, I, I tend to do that much studying Lydia and things like that that I don't really buy into it. I can see that, yeah, he's getting his praise that he deserves and, and there's been many years where this guy's... a, a a, a good fighter, ABA champion, won all your proper titles, your areas, your English. Uh, the only one who what he ain't got is the world and the British. No Mickey Mouse title, so he's, he is an old school throwback. But uh, it, it's just starting to come to head now, where people are like, "Hang on a minute, he is a good fighter, Cunningham. Well, let's give him his thing." I think because he's had a couple of setbacks, but they've not always been at his. Uh, chosen weight we, we've we've plugged away and it's been like short notice things like that it's not been ideal like jumping in with real good fighters jordan gill michael conlon all these type of guys but i can guarantee you if you went and spoke to them guys they would sit there and say see cunningham never never army death never army death regardless always like yeah they would sit there and say he he's give us he's give us his hardest fight i'm telling you they would say because you only have to speak to his opponents who have got the defeats over him and they're like, that's where the respect is from his opponents when I speak to them, then it, that makes me like feel, yeah, well, he is getting the attention he deserves because they're the real people what shared the ring with him. Amazing. I have the final word with you, Jason. We get the we get the win we get the win on uh, a Saturday night. What would you like fans to, to say to take away from that fight? Just that it was best fight of that night because there's some uh, decent boxing on this weekend. So if we would steal the show, then that says a lot anyway. Um, and that they're entertained because, like I say, I leave it all in the ring. Uh, build me stock again. Like I say, and yeah, everyone's happy. Amazing. <laughs> well, listen, I'll let you go back. I know it's been a long day and you've done loads of interviews. Thank you so much, the champ, Jason Cunningham and Ray Dunn. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you so much. Cheers.